Welcome to Create, plus a whole bunch of other mods as well. It kind of inspired by Mr. Beardstone's latest jaunt with the Create mod. I'm going to be playing in a world, learning Create, because I don't know a great deal about it, and, well, hopefully building some cool stuff. And we're going to start by, obviously, well, the usual, knocking down some trees, grabbing some resources, and, well, seeing if we can find somewhere decent to live. Right, first thing to do is chop down this tree. These birch trees are... What? They're full log blocks. What? They're not logs. Well, at least I can turn them into wood. And make a crafting table. And make sticks. And make a pickaxe. And an axe. And a shovel. And a sword. All of the key ingredients to get started in a world. Ah, we're rolling already, peeps. Now, there's a few things going on with this world. Number one is that I have the time of day changed. I have a daytime of 20 minutes and a nighttime of just five. Because no one likes playing in the nighttime, but sometimes you need it. Got a whole bunch of mob changes going on. We've got a whole bunch of biome changes going on. We've got a whole bunch of other things going on. And as well as, of course, the Create mod. Now I have a furnace, a stone pickaxe, and some coal. Doesn't feel particularly modded yet, does it? But at least I can cook those pork chops. And listen to those sounds. We've got sound physics. And now I'm fully upgraded to stone. My dinner is cooked. It's time to move on. I was kind of hoping this would be a beach, but it looks a little bit scabby, really. It's not the nicest beach in the world, but there are a bunch of mobs around here, particularly sheep, which is going to be particularly useful for things like sleeping. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So now I've got a bunch of wool, I can make a sleeping bag, which is very useful because I can use this sleeping bag, potentially. I don't know how you actually put it on the floor, but I think I can sleep with it. Hello, horse. And down here, it looks like we have some wild potatoes. More food and a large hole. And now I have a bunch of copper and every stack of coal, which means I've already got a bunch of torches. Oh, this is great. <coughs> <coughs> now, I'd ideally like to find a village. I can see there's some sort of pirate ship over here, which is probably full of pillagers because we've got pillager invasion mod and there's some sort of building over there, which isn't really a full village. In fact, there doesn't seem to be many villagey things around in this area at all. So I think I've got a bit of a journey on my, ahead of me before I find one. Wild onions! And a crash. Oh jeez. Broke it already. Well, it turned out that was an issue with the Starlight Lighting Engine mod, so, uh, well, I've got rid of that and, well, we're back to normal now, which is good. And we've happened upon our first ruined portal. Wow. Oh jeez, our inventory's it's full already. Oh jeez, I don't need an animal dictionary, I don't think. Do I need an animal dictionary? What's in the animal dictionary? Well, that's a dictionary full of animals. Geez, there's a lot of animals. I don't need that right now. I'm sure we can make another one of those. I will take the trousers, though. We can have my wooden tools. I don't need them anymore. <gasps> a village! Wow, a very impressive-looking village. Jeez, look at this thing. Wow, I don't need to do any building in this world. It's already done. Look at this. This is incredible. Look at these incredible buildings. Is it full of idiots, as usual? Where's all the idiots? There we go. Where's all the idiots? I found them. And cake. Ah, oh, free food. I'm an emerald. Can I take it? I can. Amazing. More emeralds, cabbage seeds. I'll take them. Good morning, chaps. Right, this little villager here. Can I do? I can. I can pick the baby up. Look at my baby. I've got him right in my hands. Yeah, I need to put him down. I guess I just click. There we go. Wow, it's Brad. Sorry, Brad. I didn't realize it was well, it's not really a baby's name, Brad, is it? Imagine calling your baby Brad. My baby was called Brad. Um, yeah, but it, it works when they're older. But I just can't imagine a baby being called Brad. You'd call it Bradley, wouldn't you, until it was old enough. But look, bookcases and things. Oh, these are all going to be very handy. What's this? This is organic compost. I'll take it. Whoa, I broke all of it. Has this got... It's got vein mining on this shovel. That'll be why. Oh, that's amazing. And what's this? This is Farmer's Delight Rich Soil. I'll take it. Oh, and there's a Create mod thing in this village already. Oh, I can steal all of the Create... I don't even need to make Create stuff. It's already made, guys. Can I pick this up? No, but I can pick the chest up. And I can put the chest go back in my room and put that in there. Oh, oops. Oh, dear. Um, my vein mining shovel's about dead now. How do you think he'd work? Oh, jeez. You'd think there'd be a hotkey for it, really, wouldn't you? He's a mine. I'll take all of this. Looks very valuable. On my pickaxe. And it's finally bedtime, which means we get to spend the first night in our brand new accommodation in Brad's house. Let's go to sleep. 
Make a new pickaxe and go pillaging or plundering or whatever it is in. I'll have one of those. I'll have some more of this and more of this. I'll take these furnaces. Now, here's a question. Can I pick up cake? No, I can't pick up cake. Apparently, I've got a slab now. I'm the slab man. Look at me with my slab. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Look at all this. Okay. I just found the jackpot. Free stuff. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Oh, a saddle. That'll be really useful. I'll take it. Look at the size of this place. It's massive. Whoa. Um, I wasn't expecting that. Are, are they friendly? Bison. Wow. Look at... Oh, no. They're not friendly. Oh, jeez. Angry bison. Iron block. And a smithing table. I definitely need one of those. Look at that. A bunch of gold armor. Mine. Whoa. What? How many of them were there? And there's a whole bunch of gold blocks up here. Oh, jeez. I've hit the jackpot, peeps. Best village ever. Well, now I've had the absolute most perfect start to this world. And I have more resources than I could possibly know what to do with within, well, realistically a few minutes. I'm going to need some way to carry it. And this mod pack has the traveler's backpacks. And the ba traveler's backpacks are made with leather, gold, chests, backpack tanks, and sleeping bags. Backpack tanks are made with glass and iron ingots. And I don't have any glass. And of course, I'm going to need leather, which means I'm going to need cows. Now, it just so happens on my travels through this village, I spotted a couple of cows, which I can use to breed. I don't want these cows all the way over here at the bottom of the village when my house is all the way up there at the top. So I'm going to have to uh, take these cows with me. I feel like I could shoot it. Feels like a cow missile. So for now, I think I'm just going to deposit this cow in this house and go get the other one. Come here, other cow. Excuse me. I picked up a raccoon. <laughs> what am I going to do with this? Uh, here, do you want a raccoon? There you go, mate. It's on his head! How did I do that? <laughs> can I put a pig on that villager's head? <laughs> no, but I can put raccoons on people's heads. That's ridiculous. Oh, dear. <laughs> I had no idea you could do that. That's incredible, right? Where's that cow? Come on, cow. <laughs> Okay, we now have two cows back at the house, and they could really do with a pen rather than just being roaming around this house. And with my new axe in hand, it is fence pillaging time. Why don't you just put them in one of the fences that's already there? Ah, that's too simple, mate. Too simple. And there we go. Out on the back of my stolen house, I now have a pen made of stolen fences. And now I'm going to put in my stolen cows. Oh, stealing's good, peeps. Only in Minecraft. Don't do it in real life. If you would like to come here and go into your little pen there. There you go. One. Oh, and I've captured a villager. Two, and baby cow, stop eating that cake. Three, fantastic. So while Shikana looks after these lovely cows and waits for them to breed up, I could really do with a whole bunch of wood, and there's a whole bunch of big trees over there, but mining big trees is pretty slow. However, I do believe there's something within the Create mod that can help me with this, and I think it might be a mechanical saw. Let's ponder about this, shall we? Upward-facing mechanical saws can process a variety of items. Ah, and there we go, sideways-facing mechanical saws can basically cut down a whole tree. That's what we need. I need iron sheets, an andesite casing, and an iron ingot. Okay, iron sheets are easy enough. I just need one of those. But the thing I'm going to need most of all is zinc. And I only have five zinc nuggets. And I have no andesite at all. So I'm going to have to go mining. You guys ready to eat again yet? They are excellent. We're going to have more cows in a minute. Now, I'm not 100% sure what part of the world andesite actually generates in. So I'm just going to dig into this wall here. We are quite high up in the world. And just dig and dig and dig. And then, well, hopefully find some. Oh, and I've immediately found a giant cave. I'm getting shot at. This isn't good. Who's shooting at me? Where? Oh, you! You're shooting at me. Oh dear. Um, oh jeez. Yeah, this could this could be bad. Go oh, on, getting shot again. There's another one. Oh no, there's another one and the creeper. Run away! Jump! Ah. Oh. I think I might have taken... Oh, no. I thought that creeper might have taken the skeleton out. I could have my first death any moment. Need to go hide in a wall quickly. Perhaps that wasn't the best start to this mining mission. And where did you go, skeleton friend? Ow. Hey. Aha! Got him. Oh, apparently I've captured another villager. Well, there was a distinct lack of andesite in this cave, which is slightly concerning. There isn't, a, however, a lack of skeletons. There's plenty of those. I'm nearly dead again. Now, I think it might be worthwhile spending a little bit of our, you know, hard-earned resources and actually making something that's going to keep us alive a little bit longer. For instance, I can make some copper boots and myself probably a copper chest plate as well. And now, hopefully this time when I go down there, I shouldn't get quite so easily mullered. No, thank you. No, thank you. 
Got him. I've got good news and bad news. I have mined myself down to a level where there is andesite. However, there is also a big cave and lots of skeletons in it again. Okay, so next to this patch of tough and andesite, there's also this, which is scory or whatever that is. And I can collect it, so I'm going to grab a bunch of this as well while I'm here. And when I say as well, I haven't actually got any andesite yet, and my iron pickaxe is just about dead. But I'm going to assume this is valuable. Oh, zinc. I need zinc. This is good news. Ooh. Oh, that was very close. Jeez. Oh, it appears I've collected lots of villagers now. How are you all getting in here? Anyway, I've got a whole bunch of cows now. Got a whole bunch of villagers, apparently. And I've got a whole bunch of copper, iron, a little bit of zinc, and a three, two and a bit stacks of andesite, which is fantastic. So, first things first, let's get that zinc cooking. And I might as well get a little bit of this copper cooking as well. Have a little sleep. And let's make some create. So I need iron sheets, which means I need a press. And I make a press with andesite casing, a shaft, and a block of iron. So next I need to make some andesite alloy, which is relatively easy. You turn your zinc ingots into zinc nuggets, and then you just put them on there like that. And there you go, a bunch of andesite alloy. Fantastic. Then you get your andesite alloy, and you stick it on strip logs like that. And that gives you these... Uh, Andesite casings, I think they're called. Then you need a shaft, which I've robbed a bunch of those from already, and make a mechanical press, which also needs a depot, which is an andesite alloy and an andesite casing, which I just happen to have. So uh, let's get rid of this annoying wall and this pointless plant, move my bed a bit, feed the cows, and deposit my depot, and then deposit the mechanical press on top. And then that mechanical press needs a handle, a hand crank, wood, an andesite alloy. I can do that. There we go. We got a hand crank. And now if I stick that on there and give it a bit of a clink, that will activate that. But it's got nothing on it. So now I need to splat some of my iron on there. There we go. Three pieces of that. Give it a whirl and watch it go. Incredible. And there we go. We now should have three pieces of iron sheet with that iron sheet i can now make a mechanical saw and the same goes i just need that handle off there now all i've got to do is get myself to a tree stick on the saw hopefully it'll face the right way it won't how do i make it face the right way i guess i put it down like that no that makes it face that way okay hmm if i put that there and then that really game there we go like that right stick my handle on the back and give it a swizzle and hopefully this tree, wow, just falls down. Amazing. I've just got to do this a bunch of times on all these trees. How hard could it be? Now, in order to make my life a little bit easier, I'm going to want a wrench in order to spin that sawmill thing round. And that needs gold sheets, cogwheels, and a stick. I've got two gold. I need one more piece of gold, really. Well, at least I guess I can put these two on. Put my handle on. Give it a spin. Make some gold sheet. I've got a cog, so I just literally need one more piece of gold. And here we go. There's a little bit of gold. So I'm not overly familiar with the Create mod. In fact, I only really started looking at any videos to do with it a few days ago. So if you've got any ideas or things you'd like to see me build, then leave a comment. And while you're fiddling about in that comment section, why don't you hit that like button and consider subscribing as well for more Foxy No Tail content. Right, I need to make this wrench thing. And there we go, just like that. So now this should all be mildly easier because when I put that down there, I believe I can turn it round. No? I thought the wrench allowed you to turn things round. Oh, geez, really? Okay, so I just have to... Okay, fine. That's fine. It was a total waste of time making the wrench. Typical. There we go. I've got a decent amount of wood now, which means I can, well, get back to doing what I was doing before. Are any of you guys ready for breeding again? Yet yeah, you are. Look at all these cows and these villagers that I've accidentally trapped in here. So back to backpacks. Leather's obviously one thing we're going to need, but we also need these backpack tanks, which means we're going to need glass. So I should get some sand. Oh, where on earth am I going to find sand? Oh, there is a beach over there. Oh, that's where I came from, though. That was miles away. Sand. I can make it by crushing gravel. I can make it by milling sandstone. How, well, how do I get sandstone? Is there any other ways of getting sandstone? I can press sand into sandstone, which I need sand for, so that's kind of pointless. So gravel through one of these things turns into sand. That's a crushing wheel. Crushing wheel? That doesn't actually look too expensive. How do I get a big crafting table like that, though? A mechanical crafter, which then, what? Brass casing, so I need brass. That's a rabbit hole I'm not ready for. So I guess I'm going on another journey to find sand. How hard could it be? Not impossible, I'll find sand at the bottom of a river. Although that all looks like stone and dirt. 
and squids with bendy legs. Aha! Sand. Right down there. Really nice, easy place for me to get to and then get back up from. How hard could it be? Ow. 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 Oh wow, there's more of the village down here. I don't think there's much wind down here, to be honest, but these windmills don't seem to be struggling. And I won't say no to a few more create pieces. Saves me having to craft them myself. <gasps> What's that? I want it. I don't know what it is, but I want it. For, oh, Viridium? It looks like Prismarine. It's green and looks nice, so it must be expensive. Is there anything I can do with it? I can use it in stone cutting to make stuff, and I can use it in block cutting to make ooh, nice looking blocks. So there we go. We got a whole bunch of glass smelted now. I can start crafting this backpack stuff. So I think I'm going to need gold, a sleeping bag. I'm going to need leather. Sorry, cows. It's time. Just want you to know, no hard feelings and there is absolutely no need to be alarmed. Now, I'm not intentionally hitting the babies, but this is Java Edition and all, all the villagers. Oh, jeez. Okay, so with my 15 pieces of leather, I can make some backpack tanks, which means I should then be able to hopefully build a backpack. Oh, I'm going to need chests, aren't I? I need chests to build a backpack. And there we go. One standard traveler's backpack. Now, there is a problem with this backpack, though. It doesn't have very much space at all. It does have a crafting grid, and you can put a couple of items in it, and you can put it on your back. But then, yeah, it's not ideal. There's hardly any space, so I need upgrades. So now what I'm going to have to do is make some more of those back-to-tank things. It's not a back-to-tank, that's from Star Wars. Yes, yeah, back-to-tank, that's what I said. I need two more of these. And then I need some blank upgrades. And then I need some iron upgrades. So I'll have one of those, please. And with this smithing table, I should be able to do that. And now it's just a little bit bigger, but it's not enough, peeps. I need more. I've just been out to get a little bit more wool from some sheep and the wandering trader has arrived and gone invisible. What have you got, sir? Anything good? Cooked? All, all thicker. Don't know what that is. Browned out a globe. I do have a couple of emeralds, but I don't need any of those things. So you know what that means, sir. Unfortunately for you. Where have you gone? Stop being invisible. Very different to kill you when you're invisible. There he is. No, he's moved again. Stop it. Did I, did I get him? No, oh, he's teasing me. Uh, I'll find you in the morning. So we now have two backpacks. So that should give us, well, a bit of space to take some of this stuff. So what I realistically like to do at this point is actually go and find where we're going to be having our forever home. And I have no idea where that's going to be because this is a totally random seed. However, I've just noticed there is another very interesting looking village over in this direction, which is just over the top of the mountain. There's a lovely forest looking area over in that direction. And there's another village over here. So I put on a couple of waypoints. We've got village three down here and we've got village two there. And village three is probably going to be the easiest one to get to, first of all. So I might head that way first, have a look around there and then go over to village two. But in order to do that, I'm going to have to put some things in my backpack. Wait a minute, he's back. I hear him. You're no longer invisible. Come here, you. Got him. So in this backpack, I've put all of my shiny things and my create stuff. And in this backpack, I put a bit of food and some useful blocks. But that does mean I don't have a great deal of room for all of these other things that are, well, some of this is quite valuable. So I guess I'll be coming back here in the future to pick up some stuff. But we can't worry about all that sort of thing. It's time to go over to village number two and possibly find some interesting things on the way. That's that village pretty much cleared out. However, I've just noticed they've got lampposts with hoppers on. I could do with some hoppers. So I guess now it's time to go over to the other village, which isn't all that far away. Although that said, there is a rather large mountain range between me and that village. And here it is, 
Just the other side of the range. Wow, and look at that big dome thing this one's got. Wow, it's like a hummingbird. It is a hummingbird. Hello, village number three. Have you got anything just for me? Look at all this food. Wow, look at these brick greenhouses. They've got tomatoes growing and onions. And look at this cool little town square with the fountain in the middle and the glass on top. I love this little village. It's amazing. Whoa, they got a lot of stuff. Was me. Okay, with my pockets absolutely full and two backpacks pretty much absolutely full. Is there anything I can squeeze into there? No. I think that's enough pillaging the villages. Now, have we uncovered anything really nice? We've got a nice big plains area over there. We've got all of this meadow area over here. We are in a nicely sort of spread out wide area. And we, we do have that coastline over there. So I might head down this plains here towards that coast and see if there's anything nice to see over in that direction well i've found something of interest there is a temple on top of that mountain over there and there's also another big village here so i've walked down pretty much to the coast but i haven't really discovered anywhere that i'd really like to settle down and call, call home but i very much would like to explore that temple and obviously i'd very much like to ransack this you've got redstone You've got a redstone golem. <laughs> Amazing. It's got an anvil and everything. Oh, this there are yeah, definitely lootable stuff in this village. Oh, geez. So many things to explore. So what I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to settle down in this little village for now. This can be our temporary home. And then I think I'm going to explore that up there. But obviously not until the next episode. So if you've enjoyed this, then don't forget to hit that like button and consider subscribing for more Create content.